What up my fellow dorks? It is the Turtle Dork back with a new trailer reaction for you today. So it looks like this is what I've been waiting for. I don't do a lot of television. Well, it depends on the show. But uh and this show has become one of my favorite TV shows um on television currently right now, and that is HBO's Insecure. And ever since season two ended damn, like a seems like forever ago at least a year ago maybe 10 11 months ago probably um i've been dying to see season three especially the way season two ended season two season finale was so good man and it left our characters in a place where it's definitely going to build up the drama and you definitely want to see where the characters of Issa and molly um end up where their stories kind of go from from where they left off so uh i'm super excited um i kind of got into the show kind of midway through season two and i just fell in love with it um just being able to hear stories from uh the female black perspective uh is something we don't really get to see a lot of in this way in such a funny and honest way um, and very smart and witty and th that's what I like about it is that you get that perspective but it's not dumbed down it's extremely extremely smart and clever but anyway I can talk about this forever let's check out the trailer for season three of Insecure look at us Thirty. same thriving Jennifer Hudson's one, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I am doing great. I think that girl who moved into her ex crib. Her, she's sleeping around the couch with her broke ass. <laughs> I think I'm working a full time job, and I've been saving. You've been saving? She's been saving. Uh 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 uh. Look, right now you don't have enough money to move out on your own. If Daniel let you stay a little longer, you should. Don't look a gift horse in the dick. That's not a thing. It is. My grandmother said it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not where I need to be right now. Her name is Molly. I enjoy spelling right, but please shut the fuck up and drive. You don't bring your ass up here. <laughs> See what's going on with her. Go into your black ass locker and be your fire ass self. No better, do better. Throw and put him in his lane. And my new job was trying to talk about benefits. And I was like, Blam, you better give the bitch a PPO. Bro, see, I don't even do it right. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, we should do a walk around. Wait, is that Jay Z and Beyonce? No, it's Amir, it's us, we cute. <laughs> We are getting along great. I'm not even sleeping with him. Oh, girl, no. I mean, I'm in trouble right, right there, boy. Do I think about it a lot? Yeah. Am I thinking about it right now? No. Yeah. <laughs> I've been working on my music for a long time. They ain't really ready for all that instrumentation. Hey, if you ever need a bass to play the tambourine, I'm available. Are you available? For our project. <laughs> That up. I think I'm gonna tell Daniel that I'm gonna stay longer. Wait, why? He's been there for me. So you figured out how to pay my call. With that ass. No. That, 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 that ass. Ooh, tartines. That's like little toast. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Um, it's funny, man. It's just like, I, I'm just, th that show is just so well written and so funny. And you really just like those four ladies, you just really get caught up in their friendship. And it's, it, we talk about this a lot when you see it in movies and why you see sequels to a lot of movies that have like those type of friendships and camaraderie it's because we as an audience like to just hang out with these people and it just feels good when you get to see them back together again it's like it's just they're like old friends you haven't seen in a while and again like i said with the drama that ended last season like especially with molly i want to see what's going to happen because the way that ended between her and dro like they they really and they touch on it a little bit and I hope they don't gloss over it. That's the thing that I really, really, and I don't believe that they will. But the big thing is Issa and Daniel. It's funny, I didn't see Lawrence in this. 
So I don't know if he's going to be in season three, which I don't know, man. Like, it would be kind of disappointing not to see Lawrence in season three. But um, I, I guess if you think about it, because the way this trailer is, it's kind of focusing on Issa's story um, after their breakup. Um, because I guess you can kind of say his story was kind of wrapped up and the way they wrapped up their relationship at the end of season two. But it just feels like there's more. And he could come back maybe midway through or later in the season or even season four because that's just, I mean, this show that is about like life and relationships. I mean, we all know the circle of how life is and how people go in and out of your life. So who knows? Lawrence could come back into her life. You, you never know. And that would be interesting, especially if you see what happens, depending on what happens between her and Daniel. Um, but yeah, it, it looks like it's gonna be really, really, really fun. Um, I'm, I'm getting all like deep into the show, and half you people probably don't even watch the show. But I highly recommend check out Insecure if you haven't seen it already. But if you have seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let me know what you thought of the trailer for Insecure season three in the comments below. Go ahead, rate, like, subscribe, and share. And go ahead and check out my other dorks at Mouth Dork, at the Disco Dork, and at Sidewalk Siren. And as for me, I am the Turtle Dork. And with that, I'm out.